Hi, um, very warm good morning to everyone. It's almost afternoon. Uh, my name is Jinke. I work for Amundi Singapore Limited, which is uh, a global fund manager. I think first off, I want to thank uh, Prof Tan Sui Liang, for, uh, uh, ESS Council member, uh, for this wonderful invitation to share uh, our views today. So when Prof told me about this and I saw that the topic was uh, on resilience, uh, a lot of neurons were fired in my head because this is a wonderful opportunity uh, to share my own views, our own views, my favorite asset class on Asian fixed income. Right. So th there's, there's so many things on Asian fixed income. When, whenever people think about Asia, whenever they think about markets, or even in the US, as uh, James has pointed out fantastically in his presentation, first thing that comes to mind is, is equities. It's always equities. Right? How do I grow? How do I get 10% of growth? How do I get you know, right through market swings? How do I invest in tech stocks globally? What happens when China's uh, economy gets stimulated right, or not? But people generally tend to overlook this huge asset class worldwide and in Asia, which has been very resilient over the past 20, 25 years. So today I hope to share with us um, some perspectives on why this market is resilient, what this market is, um, how it has shown resilience you know, post-1997, and how investors such as myself can... Um, benefit from, from this asset class. I think first, we, we need to take a step back, right? Singapore is part of Asia, Singapore is part of ASEAN. But on the left-hand side of this chart, you can see Asia's percentage of global growth has increased uh, exponentially uh, over the past 20 to 25 years. And yet, on the right-hand side of this, you can see the percentage exposure of Asia um, as part of the global, I was going to say Lehman Aggregate, it's now called Bloomberg Aggregate, uh, is, is only 26%. Right? It has a lot of room to grow. Right? We know that Asia is a growth engine. We know that Asia is here to stay. Uh, and this, again, will tie into why Asia is resilient, uh, as we will see in a, few, uh, in a few moments. So this Asian fixed income market is, as I've just described, is, is huge, right? But what exactly is Asian fixed income? It's a little bit like the tale of the, the blind man and the elephant, right? If you ask someone, oh, what's an Asian bond? If he's a private banking customer or if he's an A-creditor investor, his relationship managers 